It's July 2023 and this video is going to show you how you can install a custom launcher on your Fire TV stick or Cube so that you get rid of all of that Amazon advertising. It'll also show you how you can stop that from being disabled. Somebody over in the XDA forums virtual call, thank you very much, has found a way of typing in commands to the system which will stop the launcher from being disabled. You might have installed it recently and it just keeps getting removed. Well, this script hopefully overcomes that. It'll also show you how to edit the script if you do something wrong. And it'll also show you how to remove the script from your system and run it basically every time the system starts. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail right now in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. You may have watched a video back in March where I told you how to install this and it's now been removed. Well, this actually overcomes, it supersedes that video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reinstall the whole lot from scratch. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to apply the commands and get them to basically be applied every time you power up your fire stick so that it stops the launcher from being disabled. Now I've got to say a word of warning, these commands and these apps are not supported by Amazon. So there's every chance something could go wrong and you could trash your stick or cube. I take no responsibility for this. If you're the type of person that cannot follow instructions precisely, or you're a bit worried at all in any way, shape or form, then this video is not for you. As I say, I cannot take any responsibility for any adverse effects that happen from using these apps or using these commands. It could be that it works now, but later on Amazon may provide an update to the stick or the cube, which might conflict with these apps or the commands. And again, could cause problems with your stick or cube and even stop them from working altogether. And unfortunately, because you've used these apps and these commands, your warranty with Amazon could have been voided. So therefore only follow these instructions if you're prepared to possibly have to buy another stick or cube at some point in the very near future. There's a minimal chance of these problems from happening, but I just have to state that there is a chance still that problems could happen. If you're still happy to proceed, then hold tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Let's just go across over here to the settings cog, go across to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button, and then have a look and see whether you can see launcher manager there. As you can see, I've got launcher manager installed on mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it and then press the play pause button on the remote control to uninstall it. Once we've pressed that, we get this confirmation here. So it says uninstall launcher manager, deleting this app will free up 4.39 megabytes of storage. The app will be deleted from all non-child profiles. Are you sure you want to continue? So yeah, make sure that confirms highlighted middle button on the remote control and there you go uninstalling application. Now the next thing we need to do, and this is just for safety's sake, we need to restart the Fire Stick. So go to the settings cog and then go down to My Fire TV and then go down to restart, highlight that middle button on the remote control, left button on the remote control to highlight restart and middle button. Let the Fire TV Stick restart. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that download is installed. So go across to the magnifying glass there, middle button on the remote control, go down to search, middle button, and then just start to type on your keyboard downloader. And as you're typing it, you should see it appear in these suggestions underneath. Once you see it, highlight downloader, middle button on the remote control, make sure this orange and white downloader icon is selected under apps and games, middle button on the remote control, and then middle button again to start downloading. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and your fire stick. But basically, once you see open, 
it is downloaded and ready. So ju let's just go into it first of all. So go into it. Now, this is very important. You need to make sure that you allow download access to photos, media and files on your device. So make sure that allow is highlighted. This, uh, as I say, is very, very important. So with allow highlighted, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide. Now, I know it's going to sound crazy, but we'll need to come out of this because we need to do a few more adjustments. So let's just press the back button on the remote control a couple of times till we get back to here then press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog once that's highlighted then go down to my fire tv then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options now if like mine you don't see it then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it like mine, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer, come up at the bottom of the screen. Then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button, and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is, middle button on the remote control, middle button again, and then it goes to on. If you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources, then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, go down to downloader, and if it's switched off like mine, middle button, and that turns it on. And then we need to ensure that ADB debugging is actually switched on. So as you can see, mine's set to off. So highlight ADB debugging, middle button on the remote control and make sure that it's switched on. Then keep pressing the back button until we get back to the main menu. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into downloader and then go up middle button on the remote and type in 21203. That's 21203. Then press the play pause button and then hopefully after a few seconds, it should connect to the download section on my website. Once we get there, what we need to do is we need to go down and we need to find Wolf Launcher. This is something that I like, I prefer. So let's just go and download Wolf Launcher. So highlight the Wolf, middle button on the remote control, and then hopefully after a few seconds, it should start to download. And there we go. Once it starts downloading, hopefully shouldn't take too long. Once you see this or a black screen, go down until cancels highlight at the bottom and then go to the right. So that installs highlighted middle button and then wolf launcher will then load. Make sure that done is selected middle button. And then on this screen here, then we need to select delete. So press the right button middle button, then press the left button to highlight the second delete and then middle button. We don't need to keep that file. So what we need to do is we just need to briefly come out of downloader. So press the home button and then what we need to do is we need to find the wolf launcher and launch it. So press and hold the home button on the remote control, go across to apps, middle button, and then go down and find the W just there. There you go, blue and white W. So middle button and let wolf launcher load. It might take a few seconds the very first time. We just wanna make sure that it's working okay. We don't wanna set it to launch if it's not working. So like I say, this bit could take a few seconds. There we go. And you might have like me a gap at the top of the screen. If you've got that, Press and hold the middle button on the remote control until this menu appears. OK, and then you can either pick a widget if you've got any widgets in there or if you haven't got any widgets, then go down to launcher settings, middle button, go to sections, middle button and then manage sections and just basically move applications up. So select applications there, press the up button on the remote and then the middle button and then just go down to close middle button and there you go as you can see here after pressing the back button a few times we've got this set up with all the apps right at the top of the screen so now the next thing we want to do is we want to set it up so that when we press the home button on the remote control we actually get 
wolf launcher come up rather than this launcher. So what we want to do is we want to go back to downloader. So if you can't see downloader, press and hold the home button on the remote, go across to apps, middle button, and then go down to downloader, middle button. And hopefully you should still be on my page. If you're not on my page, and you're back to this one here, you want to type in there 21203, go down to go, middle button, and uh, go back to the page. So once you're at my downloads page, then what you want to do is you want to go down a little bit further, and uh, let's just go down to launch manager there, and make sure it says version 1.1.8, just at the bottom there. Move your mouse somewhere over the yellow cog, middle button, and then hopefully Launcher Manager, the latest version should start installing or downloading. Once you see the screen or a similar one, keep going down so that cancels highlighted, then press the right button so that installs highlighted, middle button, and let it install. Once you see done, middle button, and then go across to delete here, middle button, and then go across to the second delete there, middle button. And then we need to keep tapping the left part of the mouse on the remote control till we're back to home middle button, back button twice. What we need to do now is we need to try and find launcher manager. So press and hold the home button on the remote control till this appears, go across to apps, then go down and across and find this white cog with a blue background. Once you've seen that middle button, and then we should get launcher manager come up. So here we've got launcher option. So make sure that's highlighted middle button and what we want to do is here is we've got the old method here. Now that doesn't work anymore on the Fire Stick or the Cube. So just ignore this section here. We want to go down, first of all, to the LM Custom Launcher and the Custom Launcher Options right at the bottom there. So once you've highlighted Custom Launcher Options, middle button, and then what we want to do is we want to select our launcher. So let's just go down to where it's got Active Launcher, middle button, and we want to select from there Wolf Launcher or the launcher of your choice and then go up to LM Handler Status. As you can see there, it says inactive, middle button on the remote control to make that active. And then we go back one and we go back into launcher options. Okay, so middle button. And then we wanna go down to where it says new method uses ADB to open custom launcher. So make sure that you've highlighted home button hook. It should say status disabled, middle button. And then what we wanna do is we wanna turn both of these on. So we wanna turn on home button hook. So hook state is currently off. So highlight it, middle button. And then we get this allow USB debugging. So make sure that we've got a blue border around the square that's to the left of always allow from this computer. Press the middle button on the remote control, there you go, and a blue tick should appear in there. Once you see the blue tick there, go down, highlight, OK, middle button, and there you go, it says, please wait, setting up LM hook. Uh, go to launcher options, so middle button, and then go to home button hook again, and we need to make sure that that is switched on, and also where it's got use ADB for home, make sure that's switched on, so go down, hook state, is on by pressing the middle button and then go down again. Just make sure that everything else is disabled. So press the back button once. And now this is the little extra bit we have to do to stop Launcher Manager from being disabled from time to time. So we need to go down to the near the bottom here and we need to go into other settings. Once that's highlighted, middle button, and then we need to go down to ADB commands, middle button. Now we need to go across to the plus just over there, just on the top right hand corner, middle button. And before I go any further, I should say thank you to Virtua Call on the XDA forums for posting this script that we're going to enter in here. Now in enter label, we can enter really anything we like. So I'm just going to enter V call, but can be anything you like. Okay. Now this part here, we need to go down. So press the down part of your remote control. It is quite a long script command that we need to put in here. I'm using a keyboard that's plugged into a uh, OTG cable. 
so I can type these commands in pretty quickly. You could also use the Fire TV app if you've got a phone or a tablet that can be found in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and that will also allow you to connect to your Fire Stick or your Cube and allow you to type in on the on-screen keyboard there the command but you've got to make sure that you're 110% sure that you've entered this in correctly because if you have entered the command in not right then it could trash your fire stick or cube and I cannot take any responsibility for that. Also, it's not a command that is officially supported by Amazon so it's possible at a later date, it's unlikely, but it is possible at a later date, Amazon could release an update which could conflict with this script and cause problems. And at worst, it could again trash your Fire Stick or Cube. So please, please, please be sure that you definitely want to use this script and you are 100% happy with the possible consequences now and possibly at a later date. As I say, this script is not condoned, authorized or supported by Amazon, so it could cause problems at a later date. The chances are it won't, but there's absolutely no guarantees. Sorry for banging on about this, but just need to make sure that everybody understands the potential consequences of entering this script in wrong or the potential consequences of entering it in right, and then Amazon come along, release an update which conflicts with the script. I will put a copy of this script in the description of the video, so you can copy and paste it if you want to using the Fire TV app on your phone or tablet, or if you just simply want something that you can reference to. So go into Enter Command, get the on-screen keyboard up, and we need to type the word while, W-H-I-L-E, space, sleep, space, 10, semicolon. That's the one with the comma underneath the dot. Space, do, space, open bracket, open bracket, plus, plus, N, percent sign, 30, close bracket, close bracket, space. Now we need two lines going down. So to get them, we need to go into the symbols just above previous at the bottom of the screen, middle button, and it's this here. So that twice, space, AM, space, false, hyphen, stop, space, com, dot, Amazon, dot, TV, dot, launcher, semicolon, space, PM, clear, space, com, dot, Amazon, dot, device, dot, software, dot, OTA, semicolon, space, PM, space, clear, space, com, dot, Amazon, dot, A, Step, semicolon, space, and then the word done. So there we go. I've put this at the bottom of the screen. As I say, I've put this in the description of the video too. Double check this, triple check this, quadruple check it. Check it as many times as you can to make sure you've typed this in the correct way. So all we need to do now is to press the play pause button on the remote control and we just double check it from here. So then we want to make sure that there's a tick in or to the right of execute on boot. So highlight the little box just to the right of execute on boot, middle button, and there we go, there's a tick in it. Next thing we need to do is we need to go down to save. So make sure that's highlighted in white and then middle button on the remote control to save it. And there we go, that's now been entered. So this script should now run every time you start your Fire Stick or Cube. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to just come out of this, go back into Launcher Manager. Okay, so one more thing we've got to do is we've got to stop the Fire Stick or the Cube from sleeping because if it goes to sleep, we found that when it comes out of sleep, it goes back to the stock launcher rather than the custom one. So you need to go down back into other settings. Again, if you've come out of it, go down to Screen Saver, highlight that middle button, and then go down to sleep timeout in minutes. Now you'll probably find that set to 20 like mine. Highlight it, middle button, and just clear that. 
and just type zero in there. So the Fire Stick never goes to sleep. So press the play pause button. It should say sleep timeout in minutes and below it should say zero. And there we go. Now, when we press the home button on the remote control, we should go directly into our custom launcher, mine being Wolf Launcher, instead of the stock launcher that's supplied by Amazon. Now, what if you wanted to basically remove this script, say if something happened later on and the script stopped working and uh, you wanted to remove it or you'd done something wrong, you wanted to edit it. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So basically all we need to do is go down and find Launcher Manager just there, highlight it, middle button, and then let's just go back to the main menu. And what we need to do is on the main menu screen, we need to go back down and find other settings, middle button, and then go down to ADB commands, middle button, and then we find and highlight the script, whatever we called it, I called it vCall, press and hold the middle button on the remote control until this menu appears. And there you go, we've got a few options here. So it's saying here, edit entry, so if we want to edit it, we can go into edit entry, edit entry and we can change things in here. Or if we want to remove it altogether, we can go to remove from database and then middle button on the remote control. And there you go. That completely removes the script from the device. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not help support this channel? If you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube or accessories, have a look in the description of this video. We've got some links down below giving you some great offers. Buying through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to creating these videos for you. Also, whilst you're here, don't forget have a look around. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.